in this video guys I will be showing you some good landing spots to land in arena and pubs. Let's get to let's we're gonna do pubs first. So Alright guys we're back. So I would advise you guys to land somewhere low key, you know where these kind of people to land at, so you don't die fast. And the uh, landing spot that I land when I play is uh, I usually land here. Shout out to Halo, by the way, in the description. But anyways, I don't know if he still does, but my there's this YouTuber called Halo. If you used to land here, shout out to him. So yeah, I'm gonna land there. Yeah, so you guys might want to land here. It is actually a very good spot for regular slow solos, and yeah, so. You actually get some very good loot and it's a big place, so you would get a lot of loot. And let me show you the next reason. I'm not going to be here for long, guys, but it's going to give me a few guns in case I die. Alright, yeah, I'm good now. Alright, so next reason I want you guys to land here is mm, once you go down here, uh, this guy here, I'm pretty sure you can get a bounty out of him. I don't know if you can. But you can trade with him. See? Yeah. There we go. Let's get to pop. Let's get to arena. So guys, arena is a little different. So I'm gonna give you guys two landing spots because I know some of you guys like to play aggressive. So the spot that I pick, if you want to play a little bit aggressive, a little bit passive, you want to go Dirty Docks. It is actually a very good spot to land from that. Sometimes about one or two teams land here. Or, yeah. So. And I will show you guys the reasons why I picked this place. Alright guys, so this place here is actually a very good place for solos, duos, and trios. Now, let me show you why. You can get a lot of gold and sh she upgrades your guns for you and also she gives you an exotic. So, that's Another landing spot because I know there's some of y'all who are passive players. So another landing spot you guys might like is Coral Reefs. Coral Reefs is actually very good. Sometimes when you land there's very sharks and they drop purple so it's not bad. And also, it's actually kind of the same as Dirty Dogs. But Dirty Docks is actually better to land overall because this place doesn't give you as much mats as Dirty Docks does. But the person here can upgrade your weapons. You get a lot of break here. And you can get max break in like, I don't know, like 5, 15 seconds. Um, yeah. Not a lot of people land here. People sleep on this place and it's actually a very good place to land. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys drop a like and sub and turn on post notifications.